So Steve, how's it going with you in the land of uh, rock and roll and all that stuff these days? We are doing great, my friend. I just put another blog on the on the Napoleon wood stove because it's getting nippy at night now, eh? Yeah, here in Nova Scotia, we're hearing the wind now, so uh, snow is probably going to be coming in very soon. Yeah, but yeah, we already had a bit here. I'm in northern Ontario. I'm up near Algonquin Park. And your weather's pretty good still? Pretty good, yeah. Well, there's ice on the rain bucket, so... But not bad, not bad. But rock and roll, yeah, we get this album coming out, this Heat Wave album. That's incredible. It is. It really is. I'm glad you say that. 43 years in the making. That's a few years. <laughs> 43. Crazy, eh? And this is like a technological type of uh, website you're selling it on, like Sing Market. Yeah, that's the way they're doing it these days. But that's it's still going to be in the stores. Don't worry. This is just like a pre-sale okay. that they do online. The cool thing about when you buy it online is, is the second they take your money off your credit card, you can download the album and listen to it in an MP3 file. How cool is that? I would say that's pretty cool. Certainly if yeah. you've been waiting for so long for it. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and then you have to wait eight to ten weeks for them to mail you the vinyl record. You know what's coming in the mail. Probably be they'll probably be going out just before Christmas. You buy it now. But you can listen to it tonight. I think that's pretty cool. Anywho. Well that is really cool and it's like that deluxe bundle is is mm. like like the, the incredible thing that the people will need to get yeah that's that's the way they're doing it these days if they want to give you more than just a record so you're getting a poster you're getting a ticket stub reproduction you're getting a cd of the album and you're getting the vinyl of the album and you're also getting a dvd of the, our documentary film which has never been available on a dvd so that's pretty cool too because that's only been able you'd only be able to watch that on, on tvo in ontario Mm -hmm. So now you'll have your own copy, your own DVD copy. You play it when you want. Play it, pause it when you want. So we're excited about the whole package, that, that big bundle you started talking about. Now, Steve, performance live at Heatwave, let's say um, it's been broadcasted and stuff like that throughout the years, or years ago, I should say, and and now you got the master tapes and, you know, everything's looking good. How How much work did you put into, you know, making it? what it is today yeah all I had to do Jason was get it to the right mastering engineer and that guy's name is Peter Moore he has a mastering studio in Toronto and that's exclusively what he does he gets that final sound for your record so whether you're Ann Murray or Rush this guy gives it that last check he just won a Grammy recently for uh, something he did with the band and the, the basement tapes with Bob Dylan back in 69 so he took it these tapes that were good sounding and when they come out after he did that they were great that's th that's how great this is and that's why i pushed for having it released because i don't you know a lot of live shows aren't really worth worth recording and playing back right you know but this one was just we just really had a good night there i should say morning we went on at 10 in the morning on this festival when the first band's on and now you're going to be uh, remembered forever on this with like a, an official release. I like the sound of that, remembered forever. <laughs> but I'd like to think that there'll be people that will will be curious about this album and some will say, oh, I was there by, and want to buy it because they were there and they saw yeah. the show. They're not dead yet, those people, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> no, they should be alive and well, you, you would imagine. Yeah. yeah, they should be alive and well. And let's say, Steve, with a teenage head, what you guys have uh, been up to these days, like, for music and stuff? Another good question, my friend. Well, the band is still together now. We've had, we lost our singer Frankie back a few years back. And we've got our Dave Rave. He's uh, singing vocals now. He's amazing. Um, we've got a great, great drummer, Gene, Gene Champagne. He's in a, in a group called the, the Killjoys. They, they won a couple of Junos. And then on top of that, we've got uh, Trent Carr playing guitar. He's taken up where Gordy left off. We lost Gordy real sadly last year. And, mm -hmm. But I put the pieces back together, and it's, it's, it's fun. 
and we go out and we still play. Next year is our 50th anniversary. We start jamming in 1974, so that you do the math there. Mm. So we're looking forward to we're looking forward to playing. I'd like to play every province and territory next year. It's a 50th anniversary celebration. Can you help us out in Nova Scotia? I'm sure there's some places that would like to see you. Yeah, well, we, we hear there's a festival. We, we're probably going to play it. It's in Halifax. And they do a lot of 80s bands like Kim Mitchell and Toronto and the Headpins. So keep your ears open because I think we're going to be playing there this, this summer in Halifax for this imagine. festival. And what do you think of the nostalgia like today? Because it, the kids of today want to see what they couldn't see back in when they weren't live, let's say. Yeah, isn't that the, that's the same with all of us, though. I often say to myself, if I could go back and see one show, what would it be? For me, it would be Hendrix at Woodstock. Good, good one. Really good one. I do the Star Sprangled Banner. I mean, what blows me away about that is he went on so late, it was already Sunday morning, and everybody had left, and he was the headliner. But he didn't care. He just went out and did his thing. And, but yeah, the kids want what they can't have. Like they can't have the Ramones anymore. The Ramones are all have all gone, and you can't see them. But you can still see Teenage Head, and I think that's pretty cool after fifty years. And like that, what would we expect? You know, it's like going to be a greatest um, greatest uh, singles day, or is it like going to just be obscure songs when you come to Nova Scotia in the future? Oh no, no, no! We don't have we don't play nothing obscure. We we got the best songs that we ever wrote that people like. So you know, it's the same. You go to see the Stones, you know, you want to hear Satisfaction, you know. So you're going to hear all our good songs. Nothing, nothing new, really. We don't really write right now. We don't. We we just play live, and it's it's the same set list we've had for years and years and years. And it's just what people want. They don't want to hear some of your new stuff so much. Mm. So we got all our hits on this one. Well, that's a good thing. Is like um, keep the audience happy. Exactly. Exactly. I remember what they said about Neil Young. He went out on a tour once. Uh, doing a new album let's say and he's on tour and he never played no no songs that people knew and people were booing mm. <laughs> you gotta give them what they want it doesn't even matter if you're Neil Young you gotta give them what you want people want to be familiarized with songs they can sing yeah hey have you heard the new Stones album oh my god that is incredible isn't it it is everyone is saying the same thing and I was hesitant I didn't think I'd like it oh these guys what are they still doing you know but man it's good Real good. Can you imagine, you know, how many years later and they're number one? Is it really number one? <clears throat> it went number one, yeah. Oh my God, I didn't know that. I didn't think people were going to like it. Well, did you see what's in the news right now? The Beatles got a new single. That's number one, yes. too. Yes. Yes, that's a little bit different because they're using old tapes and stuff. But, I mean, the Stones is brand new. Yeah, well, Still jumping around and uh, unbelievable. So, I mean, if they can still go out and play, so can Teenage Head. We're still young compared to them guys. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be true, too. And it's like this, yeah. for, like, Live at Heat Wave, you know, why put the, the, the word performance in front of this Live at Heat Wave? Oh, that's a good question. There's a band from England called Humble Pie. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, Steve Marriott and Humble Pie. And my favorite album when I was a kid growing up was their live album. And that was called Humble Pie Performance Live at the Fillmore. Right. And I always loved that album cover. Loved it, loved it, loved it. S studied the lyrics, studied the liner notes. You know, when you're only 14 years old and you're listening to a, new, a vinyl record. And... Uh, when this heat wave album come out i thought you know what it, it sounds a lot not like humble pie but it's a live album with a, a really loud audience and i thought well why don't we just borrow uh, so we copied uh, one of their albums that live album and that's that's where we got the word performance but uh a lot, a lot of people really know that not a lot, a lot of the younger kids because that humble pie live album was probably 1970. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. so, that's pretty, um, going into the archives to uh, yeah. get some uh, good words in. Nice. Yeah. And Steve, how's the sales doing, you know, online? Because it's like, I can see, can you buy with like, let's say, Ethereum? Oh, and, I and talked to stuff. one guy from the company, Now I'm not a big bean counter, so I 
you know, you're just curious. And he says, you know what, Steve, it's been really respectable. So you take take what you say there. I think he's saying it's doing really well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, you need to push this album, and um, it's it's very well deserved. You know, to see this live at performance live at Heatwave finally released. Yeah, it's going to be great. And like I said earlier, it's, how cool is it to think that if you're listening now, or you're reading this somewhere, that if you go to that website and within 10 minutes of, of paying for something, and you could just buy the CD, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's only, I think the CD is only 19 bucks. Mm -hmm. You could buy that CD, you know, you don't hold it in your hand, but you just, I don't know how it works, but you'll just, you just get on your computer there with your speakers and listen to the whole album and it will sound really good knowing you'll still get your your vinyl or your cd in the mail i think that's pretty cool very cool so, right right from sing market website. right from sing market man and then you know your goodies are coming and uh but don't forget it will be in record stores uh, it, probably in the new year once the online sales have completed and i should mention jason yes that there is another perk that you get in that deluxe box set and that is a golden ticket. That's what they call it. But it's a it's a chance to win a brand new Fender bass. Nice. Yeah, that's what I play. So we're going to do that draw. We're going to do that in Toronto. I think it's in December. And everybody that bought that deluxe box set has a chance to win that bass. And I'm going to sign it. If they want me to sign it, I'll sign it. <laughs> and, and they'll have a great holiday for uh, in December. Yeah, Fender bass. You know, I gotta figure it's worth a thousand bucks. It's gotta be at least. Gotta be, my friend. Gotta be. So that's a, that's a nice perk there for that deluxe. And you only get that golden ticket if you buy the CD deluxe. Right. So that's a little bit of a push to to get you to really dig deep in your wallet. But it's worth it, my friend. It's worth it. This stuff costs money to make these vinyl records oh, yeah. and posters and DVDs and CDs. It's expensive. So, and let's just say support Teenage Head and you guys deserve it and um, thank you so much Jason yeah support support all Canadian music well, I got good friends the Trues I think they're from down your way yes I know Jack very well I know Jack Spirak very well He's, they live in Hamilton the Trues now okay well so uh, support all they, Canadian Bands. We're all Canadian, yeah. There's another place I'd like to play that the Trues played there last year. We went out to Newfoundland for the first time. They have what they call the George Street Festival. All right. And it's just a street with lots of bars. Like they got the same thing in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island, but lots of festivals in the summer in Canada. Wish we could play them all. But uh, look forward to, to hopefully getting down to Halifax this summer and playing that festival, Teenage Head Live. Steve, I really appreciate you taking the time talking to me today, and um, we'll we'll talk back in the future, man. Thanks, Jason. Have a good one, my friend. All right, you have a good one. Take care, and good luck with this album. Thanks. Good luck, my friend. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.